Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 56 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And last episode, we played some songs with these frogs and made them all happy and big and strong. And then, and we also got a sculpture somewhere. Yeah, whatever. And now we're going to take out our ocarina again. And they're going to be like, look at us, we're all huge frogs. We are the world famous fabulous five frogish tenors. Ribbit. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, ribbit. Okay, ready, set, go! Okay, so this is a little mini game. I always have trouble with this for some reason, but basically, you have to know which notes they correspond to. And then whenever a bug appears above their head, you play that certain note to make them eat that bug. And if you do it all right, then you will get a special reward at the end. So I'm going to be kind of quiet while doing this. Let's see. Yeah, see, I screwed it up there. It took too long. <laughs> Even on the second note, I fail. Okay. Yeah, see? And don't worry, the pattern will always stay the same. So it, it doesn't change. So you can basically memorize it. Oh, I did pretty good there. Actually, I failed this so many times in the past that I kind of still remember this song. Oh, I, I played one note prematurely. I think I was like two notes away from the end there or something. Oh, man. Dude, does that one at the top never get played or something? Because that's why I keep playing the gray one back there. There we go, and that's how you do it. Young boy, you did great! Perfect! Why are you suddenly talking like Big Oron or something? We are stuffed. We are stuffed, ribbit. Would you like to take this token? Would you take this token of all gratitude? Your froggish gratitude? And we get another piece of heart from these guys. Yeah, so you get two pieces of heart from those frogs, which is pretty awesome. And now I think I'm going to be done with this. With being a kid, that is. And so we're going to return. What am I doing? I can just play the prelude of the light, can't I? Yeah. Duh. Because you can still play your warp songs as a kid. You stupid. Now how does that one go? Uh. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> wow. I fail again. Uh. Oh yeah. That. No, I don't want to save. Look at that tech type behind me. He's just waiting to pounce on me, you know. And then he's going to like pounce at me and I'm going to be gone because I'm warping to the Temple of Time. So I can go back to being an adult. Yay. And then do some other awesome stuff. Uh, what else am I going to do as an adult? I don't really know right now. Oh, I know one thing I could do, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I could totally do that. Awesome. Radical. I'm Funky Kong, dude. Okay, so we're going to grab the sword again. And we're going to see basically the same scene that we saw when we got... When we first pulled out the sword, except now Gandor's not going to appear, not going to be treated to like a full video length cutscene again, we're just going to suddenly become an adult. I think, yeah, we're still wearing our blue tunic, so that's awesome. Alright, and we're done with that. And we still have our big orange sword equipped, which is epic. Epic as hell, look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, oh man, look at that. Oh, Snorlax freaking owns you. Yep. Anyways, there's that big red ring of death over Death Mountain. Red ring of death over Death Mountain, wow. Hmm. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I forgot. Because something that I want to do at Lake Hylia. I have to get used to remembering that I know, have these warp songs now for some reason. Uh, okay, yeah, second warp. And since the cam the camera doesn't change its angle since it's fixed while you're in Castle Town. Or whoa, it's all Oh yeah. It was daytime. It's just that it's dark in Castle Town. Why is it raining? I don't like the rain. Poo. Me. Watch out for the crows over there. Stupid crow, go away, go away. I don't like you, bird. Cause you know the bird, the bird, the bird's the word. No, don't do that now. Don't be doing that, man. 
Don't be doing that. Okay, so what you want to do is come over here, pretty much. Oh, there's actually another thing I can do now that I think about it here. Uh, let's see. Play your Scarecrow song here. And if you do that, then a Scarecrow will appear on top of this old guy's roof. And my hookshot's already equipped, stupid. And we can hookshot up to that Scarecrow now. If we can just get this right. Do I need to get closer? Come on, you can do this. I know that's gonna reach. There we go. We can climb up this ladder here and hopefully not get knocked off by a bird. Uh oh. Oh, it's coming. He's coming. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so mean. Why'd you do that? You son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you now. As soon as I get back up there. Come on, I have to get this shot again. Why is this so hard to make? Me. There we go. Oh my god. There. Now you're dead. What do you think about that? Tiny little bird got sliced with a freaking awesome big badass sword. So now we can climb to the top safely. Yay. And I can't see a damn thing because it's nighttime. And there's a piece of heart up here, which is awesome. And that's three so far. Um, did I get that heart piece yet? I don't know, maybe I did. But I can check right now, actually, because the heart piece that I'm thinking of is in here. I'm pretty sure I did get it, but I'm going to check just to be sure. Okay, yeah. Basically, you just dive to the bottom, touch the bottom here. I think I've done this, though. Yeah, see, normally it makes a sound there if you if you've done it the if you do it for the first time so I already know that I did that but what you want to do here is put on your iron boots actually so you can sink to the bottom and walk around on it and you will see that there is a little crate down here as well as 60 rupees looks like and what the hell is that that's scary man what what is that jaws I don't what's that doing there whatever we'll just leave that alone Anyway, so you can roll into this, and there will be a sculpture there. And you can't kill it with your sword, because you can't use a sword in the water. Wow, that sounded really muffled, that sculpture dying sound. But whatever, we got a sculpture there. Uh, that's not going to clear it like highly, because I know of one that we cannot get right now. Well, I could get it, but I don't want to. Anyways, uh, we'll just talk to this guy to make sure that I already got the heart piece. Yeah, I already got it. Anyways, uh, what else can I do here? I don't think I can do anything. Oh, open the door, Link. Wow. Gosh. Maybe that tutorial at the beginning of the game while opening a door was really useful for you. Because you, you seem to have trouble opening doors lately. Hmm. Okay, what else? I'm not sure if, that's, if there's much else I can actually do as an, ad, as an adult or as a kid. I mean, th I know that there's a certain qu side quest involving the big pose, but I would like until I would like to wait until later to do that when I can actually. Well, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I'll be able to play better than I can right now, in a sense. And I want to wait until that time until I do that quest, so I'm just gonna wait that one out. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna look at my map just to see if I can think, just to see if we can refresh my memory on anywhere that there might be sculptures that I can get. Yeah, okay, Lawn Lawn Ranch is done, the market's done, Hyrule Field is done, Death Mountain. Uh, I know some that would be there, but I'm gonna go there later anyways, and I can't get some of them right now. Kakariko, I know, I know where there's one there, but I can't get it right now. Lost Woods, that I know where there's some there actually, but I can't get them right now. Okay, Forest, there's one left there, and I can't get Zora's Domain. We won't be able to get all of those until pretty much the end of the game. When we get a certain item. Anyways, what am I doing? Can I just call Epona if I wanted to? So I guess that's all All that's really left to do with the story. Or, all that's really left to do is to continue the story, pretty much. Because there are, is some other stuff that I could do, but I'm just going to not do that. I'll wait... I'll probably do one of, at least one of those things in, uh, after the next temple, the fire temple. But yeah, 
Also, you don't have to do the fire temple right now. You can actually just go do the water temple if you want. Because you don't need the item that you get in the fire temple to do the water temple. But I'm just going to do them in sequential order. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, uh, let's go. But it looks like we're actually almost out of time here. I didn't really notice that. So, uh, I guess in the next episode, we're going to progress the story pretty much. And that's going to be about it. Uh, if you can think of anything that I've missed so far, feel free to let me know in the comments, private message, whatever. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.